There were three of them. John Henderson, his 12-year-old son, Malcolm, and Malcolm's friend, Doug. When the boat turned over, Doug was trapped underneath. In the confusion, John didn't notice he was missing till it was too late. John was a strong swimmer, so was his son. When they tried and failed to right the boat, they set off for land. They never got there. If you capsize, first check no one's trapped, then stay with your boat where a rescuer can see you. Don't swim for it. You may never get there. Good afternoon, Essex police are checking air and sea ports today after the disappearance of a two and a half year old boy from his home in Chelmsford. But detectives fear Zachariah Sali may have been taken to South Africa by his father. 46 year old Ibrahim Sali collected his son from his home in Gloucester Avenue at the weekend but failed to return. The child's mother, who's crippled with arthritis, is being comforted by relatives. Police in Northampton are searching for a man who escaped with nearly £5,000 after attacking two shop workers in broad daylight and in a crowded street. They were taking money from the Barry Road co-op to the bank when they were knocked down by the attacker, who's described as six feet tall and in his early twenties. He was chased by a motorcyclist and a car driver, but escaped into the crowds. Work started today on a multi-million pound shopping centre in Colchester. The ten million pound project in the new Tollgate area will bring 1,000 jobs when it's completed next year. Many of the major stores have already expressed interest in taking options on the development, which is being described as one of the region's biggest shopping attractions. Meanwhile, Colchester's football club have been given the go-ahead to build a new ground. The club's new complex at Turner Rise will have seats for 15,000 fans and facilities for ice skating, tennis, hockey and basketball. Work is expected to take two years. A man is in hospital after fire destroyed his home in Cambridge early today. At one stage, firemen withdrew because of fears of a gas explosion, and families were evacuated from nearby houses in Goodwin Way. Police and fire investigators are trying to find the cause of the blaze. A £100,000 traffic light system at a busy West Norfolk junction has caused absolute chaos, according to the police. The lights at a roundabout on the outskirts of Kings Lynn were switched on for the first time today, but were switched off soon afterwards because they stayed at green for only eight seconds. Police were called in to sort out the jams, which blocked three main roads, the A17, the A47 and the A10. The lights have been installed temporarily to speed traffic flow until a flyover is built in two years' time. Well, that's the news. The weather now and cloudy weather over the north of the region will reach all areas during the evening, bringing some light rain in places. Lowest temperatures will be around 10 degrees Celsius, and tomorrow will be cloudy with a little rain at first. And that's the regional news and weather. <laughs>